Hi, this is Jeff from Airstream Nerds, and I am here to talk about more Beach Lane products. You know I'm a fan. I have their levelers. I love their levelers. And now we have a bunch of cooling fans for our absorption refrigerators. When I get back, I'm going to talk about fans and why we need them and what the differences are between these three. If it's So let's start with a fan that a lot of us in the Airstreams know about, and that is the rear refrigerator fan. Now when I had my solar panels done a bunch of years ago, I had at the same time the fans added to the back of the refrigerators. So I already have a set of fans, and what they basically do is they pull the heat off the back of the absorption refrigerator for we have um, and they tend to these types of fridge tend to be a bit inefficient um, essentially the cold air starts at the top and drops down you know that's cold drops heat rises but the problem is, is is the cold air ends up in the cold air tends to be in like clumps in certain places. So you end up with, with places where food is freezing right next to food that's not. So what you want to have is you want to have good circulation in your refrigerator. The first thing, like I said, is having the heat pulled off of the back of the refrigerator and, and through the exhaust, that is the first step. So when Beachline started with this idea, they sent me um, a sample mock-up that essentially um, asked me what my thoughts were. Come on, Bisky. Come on, Bisky. Lay down. Lay down. Stay there. What my thoughts were, and I got a prototype, and I gave them my thoughts, and a lot of things had to do with the way that these can be mounted. Um, and I think they've they've solved that. So you have... You can Velcro these, not Velcro, you can you can wire tie these. Um, why do I got such a thing with Velcro? I like to say Velcro all the time. It's not even that cool of a word. Um, but anyway, so you can you can wire tie these to your to your um, back of your fridge somehow. They also have these brackets that are threaded. So if you have something you can hook them on, you can hook this on different ways. You've got these, you've got these little hooks with the threaded, the screws that go with them. Um, oh, they even threw in the Allen wrenches and some 3M tape. And I'm guessing this is just for shock absorption. So when you basically you're attaching this to wherever you're attaching it, this will this will keep the metal on metal vibrations down. Um, but the, you know, otherwise, this is a, basically a generic fan. You've got two fans. They've put in a Y adapter. So you connect one fan, you connect the other fan, and then this goes into the controller. Let's take the rubber band off. And then the controller gets installed where my switch is. Now the cool thing about this controller is, as you can see, is not only does it have the ability to turn it on and off, but you can turn on the speed of the fan and also this, where is it? Oh, here it's right here. That is a thermostat um, that will keep the temperatures down um, or keep you, allow you to control the temperature. So. Excuse me. So the you have from 65 up to 90. So say you only want this thing to come on at um, you know when it's 85 degrees in the area where you put the thermostat. So um, you only want to run the fan when it's when it's above 80 degrees inside or outside, depending on where you want to put it. You can choose you can choose anywhere from a range of 65 to 90 
to um, run the fan. Or again, you can you can run the fan all the time at 50%, which would cut down on the noise. I mean, these are quiet fans, but they still aren't silent fans. Um, so what they've done is they've taken the fan idea, which I, I know... I know just based on the forums and stuff that lots and lots and lots of folks have put the fan on the back of the refrigerator. It really does help. Um, it helps with the efficiency of your refrigerator and it helps with the, with the speed of it cooling. But that's the inside, or that's the outside. So away, away um, I don't know, a couple years ago, Beach Lane came out with a fan for inside the refrigerator that you put batteries in you turn on and you and what it does is it takes the air inside the refrigerator and it circulates the air you set it on the shelf um, you set it on the shelf you turn it on um, and you let it run and it does a good job of moving the cold air at the bottom of the refrigerator and and circulating it throughout the the refrigerator so they've taken that battery powered idea one step further by introducing an electric one so let's go over to the refrigerator and let's see how we would do this so in our refrigerator we have a light we can pull this light out and we can splice this onto the circuit with the light. They give directions on how to do it. Um, I'm not going to do it right now, but I will do it at some point. The cool thing about it is you can connect it and you can just... leave this part hanging out and plug your fan in if you decide to use it. Um, sometimes when it's cold, when it's already cold outside, like, like say in the, the early spring or the fall where, where you're using the furnace inside the refrigerator, the heat doesn't affect the refrigerator that much. Um, when it's, like when it's cooler outside, you don't really need to worry about fans and such. It's mostly in the summertime when it's baking outside. Um, that's what causes the need for the refrigerator fans. So that is the replacement. I mean, you can put this, the, the lead is long enough, you can just set the fan anywhere you want. So like I said, they have nice sets of directions showing you exactly how to splice this in. They provide the wire nuts to splice it in. Um, it's 12 volt, it should be super easy. Not much um, can go wrong. Take your time and you will um, be successful with this. And last but not least, we have the, the, fan, the, the fan for the evaporator fins. Now this, I didn't know about. Actually, I didn't know about these two fans at all. Um, I love this idea. I love the idea of replacing batteries with power we already have. Again, um, you still, if, you know, if you're boondocking, you need to watch every, every, um, everything you're using power wise. But if you're boondocking, you're probably, um, these things barely take any power. The evaporator fin fan. This is the same concept as the other fan. It connects the same way. You can use the small fan or you can use the big fan. The cool thing about the bigger fan is... It's alligator clips, and it's basically going to clip right to the fan. So you can put this in, you can put this up here to the top, you can clip it in place and leave it there and just run the wire down and plug it in. Um, super, super easy, just like before. You can even, you know, tie this up and just leave this, leave this wire permanently attached. Um, I really like this fan. It's got an on-off, so you have the option of just keeping it in here 
and I would probably install it upside down like this and run the, so the wire comes down that side and just leave the thing there and when it's super hot and I want to do it boom turn it on turn it off when we're not otherwise it's out of the way again Beach Lane has solved a problem and if and they've given us plenty of options you have the little fan say you're you're from the north and you don't you don't camp in the hot a lot the little fans probably all you need i think everybody should have that that kind of fan installed so this is pretty much for everybody but the the inside fans is a personal preference i do know that the battery power fan did make a difference inside our fridge it felt more evenly cold on our food um so either this one or this one again um i like the way that the alligator clips but after thinking about a permanent install bouncing around these things will definitely end up flopping around in the refrigerator so this would be something that we would we would plug in we when we're setting up and then then we'd be done with it we wouldn't want to at least with the clip version we wouldn't wouldn't want to leave this in full time it would end up being broken and laying on the bottom of the refrigerator all the time bouncing around once again beach lane i love what they're doing i'm going to put the links to all three of these products below um you should evaluate your needs and at least pick up one of them once again this is jeff and jenny and we're the airstream nerds please hit the subscribe button hit the like button put any comments below and we'll see you on the next trip